I'm Ken Anderson with IDI Distributors. Today's video is on the Fusion Air Perch gun. I've got a lot of guys saying that they're getting a foam buildup around the mix chamber causing the gun to fail. Typical cause for that is scratches in the mix chambers and side seals. I'm going to show you how to correct that. We want to make sure we take the scratches out of the mix chambers correctly. We have to get all the scratches out, but we want to make sure that the side of the mix chamber and the side of the side seal stay as flat as possible. If there's any curve to it, it's not going to be able to seal. We also want to make sure we get the right surface finish on the mix chamber because it needs to hold a little bit of ISO and resin between the two to act as lubrication. If there's no lubrication there, it'll gall up and start pulling metal. If you polish the side of the mix chamber, you take that surface finish away and it can't hold the lubrication. So let me show you how to do it. I'm going to take a hard flat plate. In this case I have a tile that I make sure is nice and true and flat, except for the edge on the side. We're not going to use that. You can also use a piece of hard glass, a piece of metal that's been machined on one side, or a piece of granite countertop sample. All of these will work. Then we're going to take some either 4 or 600 grit sandpaper and put it on top of that plate and rub our mix chamber against that. That's going to keep the mix chamber flat and the 4 to 600 grit sandpaper is going to give us the right surface finish. As we rub it on there, we're always looking for a new part of the paper so that we're not polishing the mix chamber. We're going to do the same thing with the side seal, but we need to take the side seal out of the cartridge. If it's in the cartridge, we're too likely to tip it and round it off. And we don't want that to happen. So take the side seal out of the cartridge and rub it on the paper by itself. Now if you're spraying open cell foam, the open cell resin doesn't have as much lubricity or oiliness as closed cell resin. So without that lubrication between there, it'll start tearing itself up. So you want to go on the B side to the plastic or polycarboy side seal. The plastic itself offers you the lubrication that you need. Now the plastic side seal probably won't last as long as the metal, but it saves the mix chamber and that's where the real money is. Now also, each time I take my gun apart, I'm going to just sand this a little bit to get the, the fine scratches out and to rough that surface up a little bit again. As these two rub together, it's going to try and polish itself. We want to get rid of that polish. So go across that 4 to 600 grit sandpaper, rough it up again so it can hold the lubrication. We'll be in good shape. If you do this each time you take the gun apart, this gun's going to work better, last longer, you get more work done. I'm Ken Anderson with IDI Distributors. Thanks for watching.